friends, family, and followers. Thanks for checking out this video. My name's Mark, uh, AKA Baldy. So I'm actually redoing this walk around video of our 2023 Crusader Excalibur Castle. Uh, I just want to try and make it a little bit more informative and hopefully not rush it so much and get the camera angle right because I buggered that up last time. So here's our Crusader walkthrough. Uh, Quick rundown on Crusader and why we chose them. Well, Crusader started back in 2002 by Sir Valentino. Uh, from what we read, he was someone who had decades of Caribbean building experience. Uh, someone that also liked innovation. Uh, from everything that we read, it was a company that had won some awards and they were always innovating their caravans. Um, they also were building, at the time, building a state-of-the-art um, production facility in Epping, Victoria, which is now open. Um, if you want to check out their video and have a look at how they build caravans and all the tests and stuff that they do, jump on the Crusader website, uh, and I think there's a link to their YouTube video. Um, their testing regime is one of the reasons why we chose Crusader. Uh, we had an MDC Forbes 13 Plus before, uh, which was a Chinese uh, caravan uh, built, built in Australia, but made in China. Um, made in Thailand, sorry. Um, and yeah, they, they just, we had lots of issues with our van. From delivery, we had electrical issues, we had wiring issues, we had things that wouldn't work and that. We really didn't want to spend the amount of money that we were going to spend on a van and have that pro, pro, process again. Um, so we chose the manufacturer that we felt we would have the least amount of issues with, and that was Crusader. Um, happy to say that since we've owned our van now, I've really only had two issues. One was my own stupidity because I couldn't work out how to use the diesel heater uh, and I just had to reset it. And the second was uh, the toolbox at the front of the van. Uh, we had a wood box bolted to the top so we could chuck firewood and stuff in. The The screws that went through, while they were silicon, they weren't silicon properly and they'd let a bit of water through. So I just had to re-silicon them. So qu quite easy. Since then, we've had no other issues, 100%. Um, it's it's probably been the greatest thing of this van because we, we've got a lot of stuff added. Um, there's a lot of things in it. So we, we were quite worried that we were going to have more issues. But no, it's been very good. So touch wood, it stays that way. Um, the Crusader Caravan also is 100% composite. So they're the sandwich panels. Um, they make it stronger, they make it lighter, they they insulate it um, better than other vans. Um, it's something that we looked into quite a lot. We looked at all the like Maranti frames, wood frames, uh, alloy frames, everything like that. And composite seemed to be the better of all of them. And there's only, there's more manufacturers doing it, but Crusader were the only ones that are doing floor, roof, and both sides um, that we found. Now, I'm sure there's probably others now, but when we were looking, this was over 16, 17 months ago, um, and we couldn't find a lot of caravan manufacturers that were doing that. Um, so we chose the Crusader Excalibur Castle. Uh, we had an X-Country pack added to it to give us the off-road capability. Uh, our caravan has a 3,500... ATM uh, and our tear weight currently is 2,906, I think. Um, and I think the tear weight started at 2,600 um, when we looked at it on the thing before the X Country pack was added and before all the extra features that we've had added. Um, which then you got to really take out almost 200 kilos of that straight away for water because we have two 95 litre tanks. Um, so you're left with a 400 kilo payload. Uh, doesn't seem like a lot, but I was actually quite surprised because we have fitted quite a bit of stuff on here and it's coming under weight. So, uh, yes, we've had to move stuff around and we've had to cut from what we originally had, but it has turned out quite well for us and it's worked out better than we could have expected. So we're very happy with it. Um, we actually purchased our van through Cameron Caravans in Adelaide. Uh, so massive shout out to Stuart, Aaron, uh, Tony and Lyndall for helping us. Uh, I barraged them all with lots of questions and queries and changes and all the, the fun stuff going through when you're trying to purchase a van. Um, 
we also brought this van with the notion that we were going to be living in it full time. Uh, we had a dream to travel Australia and when we started realizing that that dream was going to become a reality, um, we wanted to sell our other van because it just didn't suit our needs and we brought something that we thought best suited us. Um, so this video is really just to show you what we love about Crusader, uh, show you what our van is all about, and I'll talk about all the things that we added, reasons why we added them. Um, some of them are just because we liked them in the last van. So yeah, that's enough of me talking. Let's get out and have a look at the van. Hey, so outside the van, standing underneath the global awning. Um, our van's actually 22 foot 10 inches. Um, so it's quite big. We got the outside decals in purple. Um, that was actually something our son Phoenix picked. Um, we let him choose those colors. My wife chose all the other colors. The only color I chose was the white. So I much prefer a white van just, just to keep it cooler um, while we're traveling. Um, it's not, so we don't have to try and cool, cool the van down so much. Um, but yeah, so this is a 19 foot global awning. You can also see the two speakers there on the outside. So we have speakers inside and outside. Um, let me turn the camera around. So at the back of the van here, got your toilet cassette. With this little hatch. Just at the back of the van, spare tire and little bush ranger bag where we've got pipes and bits and pieces. Also added a few stickers on the back of the van. Now coming under here, under the awning. So drop down table, nothing else, just the drop down table. We have a TV hatch out here so we can put our TV uh, from inside in out here. With also the, the power plug, 12 volt power plug, the antenna. And then we have our inverter switches out here. Now this also has a little level which we use for leveling the van uh, front to back and then I have another level inside now this van that's the door there's a light switch on here that you can just push and turns the lights on um, the door comes apart like most caravan doors so you have your, your fly mesh Our step also is electric, so not that it's needed, but there's a little switch just in here. Just a little bit of wank. One of the big changes that we made to this fan was the airbag suspension. So. I added airbag suspension purely for the fact of leveling, making it simpler to level all the time. Uh, it's very easy with the remote to level the van now. Um, and also when you hook it back up to the car, you can flick it to auto and it auto levels ready to drive off with. Uh, with the air compressor on the back here, there's a bag there with hoses uh, so you can blow your tires up um, or blow the dust out of wherever you need to as well. One thing we also got on the outside of the van that I didn't mention before is these lights. So we actually have a switch inside the van that if I change them, they go orange and they become bug lights, which is an upgrade we wanted originally, but we were told when we ordered the van that you could only get one or the other. We're just lucky enough that during the time that we waited that they actually came together and now you can get dual ones. Front of the van, tunnel boot well you can't see in there at the moment it actually goes all the way through it's just jam-packed gas bayonet for our ziggy uh, we have a jerry can holder here on the side and the side of our toolbox toolbox has a ziggy in it and just some other little bits and pieces now this is the wood box that we had added to the top uh, I got the tracks in there at the moment, but also 
can chuck bits of wood and stuff in there. These are the little bolt holes here, and there's another one on the other side that the silly can leak through and drip some water into the toolbox. Now, coming on the front, we got a little water tap there, two nine kilo gas bottles, the Alco jockey wheel. With this van and a lot of Crusaders, they have the uh, drawbar protector on it. Um, it's just a bit of decaling and that. It does actually lower the point where you, your angle, which is something that I'm not 100% happy about, but I know it's there to protect things. Um, I have seen people remove them, but we'll see how we go as we're traveling. We have the DO35 hitch, uh, handbrake, 12 pin plug, I have the uh, 50 amp Anderson plug, but I also have a yellow one here, which is for our caravan, which is on the roof, which I'll show you after. That's a dust reduction system. Trail safe, emergency brake, and then your normal hitches and stuff. You got your stone protector there at the front, which actually slips off really easily. So these pins on that side and there's one on the other side, pull the pins out, and this whole thing just pulls off. Now, that is amazing for when you're doing tight turning because it does touch. So you can see here, I've done a little bit of damp. Oh, see here, sorry, I've done a little bit of damage. And that's from the back of the canopy on the car because when you have it on a really tight angle, it, it just touches on that one corner. Uh, we added the bike rack on the front. So for Phoenix's bike, it's a two bike rack. Hopefully at some point I will decide to get a bike uh, I've also added the little light bar on the front up there to give us some light out the front here. The tank here for the diesel heater, another jerry can holder, and then a generator. So I purchased a generator because we are going to be free camping majority of the time. Uh, we do have a fair bit of power and storage on the caravan, but this is just in case. I'm thinking Possibly in 12 months, it may not be needed once we we know and we've been traveling for a while But until then we just thought it would be better to be safe than sorry So come around the other side of the van we have our fuses Power inlet The other side of the tunnel boot which you can see is uh, absolutely jam-packed now I do have a little solar input there so part of our dc to dc regulator we've got an input for solar so we have a 50 amp dc to dc that we added a red arc one come down here we have our hot water service now we have the ability to do gas or electric with our hot water uh, which you can use electric when you're powered up and you've got power going in, but you can also use it off the batteries too, I believe. Uh, we have an outdoor shower, one of our water tanks, another one of the water tanks. This is actually the water pump outside. Um, we can also change what tanks we come from. So these two here will allow you to draw out of one tank before the other, or at the moment I've got it drawing out of both. The two switches over there allow you to, that when you're uh, hooked it up to mains, you can actually fill your tanks. Um, then over here, there's a little wash plug to clean out the gray water tank. Um, there is, sorry, that's a drain plug. That's the wash one to clean out the gray water tank. This is your gray water switch here. Um, so you can either, there's another switch underneath that you can either go into the tank or come directly out the pipe. We also have another storage area here at the back of the van, which you can see is also jam packed full. There's just a quick look underneath the van at our suspension setup airbags and shockies. 
So one thing I forgot to mention is it's a six inch uh, chassis. I have made a little adapter here. This little bracket here, if I can get in here and have a look. This gas regulator thing used to vibrate back and forwards. So I've just put a little L bracket on here to stop it doing that. If you see that, that's the caravan. That's the dust reduction system that's on the roof. That's where the filter is. I'll show you more of it inside. Right, guys so this is the inside of our van uh we have a queen bed which we upgraded the mattress to a latex pillow top mattress uh we also have a cover thing that my wife put on top of it and this bohemian thing the van came with two sirocco fans we obviously got the black pack so black fans uh there's two led lights behind there uh reading lights Obviously, same as most van storage. You've got drawers on either side there. And then normally you would have hanging. We actually opted for shelves in our hanging. Uh, we found that we can get more clothes and stuff in there. And then overhead storage as well. We have a Majestic 27-inch smart TV, uh, which is on a swivel there, which you can move around or we take it down while we're traveling. And then also up here is our BM Pro uh, battery management system for the van so under the bed here we have two 200 amp lithium batteries uh, the big thing in the bottom left corner is a 3000 watt inverter that's a projector one uh, we have the battery plus 35 uh, battery management system uh, it has an odyssey link 104 so i can hook that up to my phone and it also does the bm pro um, switch panel on the wall uh, there is a diesel heater in here as well. And then bottom right corner where the wires are, there's actually a red arc 50 amp DC to DC. Uh, so that gives us that little bit of extra boost while we're driving to help top up batteries if they're low. And then you've got a little fire extinguisher down here as well. In the corner there is actually the switch panel for the diesel heater. So it's easy to access while you're, uh, Laying in bed or if you wanted to warm the van up. So in the little bed nooks, there is plugs here from the inverter, switches here for the inverter, and there's also two USBs in the little 12 volt socket there. And then you've got plenty of space in here just to chuck your shit at the end of the day. One thing we added in this van in this van is the Carafan reduction dust reduction system. This is a power dust reduction system. It costs a little bit more than the self-pressurized ones. Um, and we purely got that because we don't want the van full of, filling full of dust and stuff when we're going off-road. We've seen lots of people having issues with having to clean and get the dust out of everywhere. So we are hoping this system, and everything that we've read, the reviews on it are pretty amazing. So um, we've tested it out on a few gravel roads and so far so good. So our kitchen is on the awning side, which we quite like. Uh, it's one of the reasons why we chose this van. Uh, that way you can reach out through the window there instead of having to open and close the door all the time to give people stuff. We have a microwave, black sink, black microwave, all that, the black pack, black door handles. That's all my wife, all credit to her. Uh, we also chose to have the oven and grill and then cooktop, so Cooked up, you have the two black ones are gas normal. The red ones are high gas, so you can use a wok, and then you have an electric hot plate as well. I believe that actually came standard with the van, but it was something that we really liked. Uh, then you've got your range hood above here as well. So there's plenty of storage up here for all of our stuff. Uh, we're using that as a bit of a pantry, and then we've got plates and cutlery and that as well. Then you've got drawers. Plenty of, plenty of bloody storage down the bottom as well for a toaster and all, all the nicks and knacks that you need while uh, living in a van. 
So I'll touch on these little bars here. We actually have little bars that go in front of everything for every aisle. Uh, we didn't want to have to put baby latches or anything on the doors to stop stuff moving around. So these are actually from Sheen, very cheap. They just screw in there and they actually hold your stuff back so that it doesn't come against the door. The whole reasons for that is when you hit bumpy roads and that and you have the weight shift in your van. Um, sometimes it breaks your latches and stuff like that. We are hoping these things are gonna work. Um, so far, so good. So this is our dining area. Now down here, you've got little leg rests, um, but also under the seat there, there's drawers on both sides. So we have our board games and stuff in there. And if you go up, you've got more storage above here. So cupboard storage, but then also in here, we have our hot water switch, which is electric and gas. Uh, that's for the rear camera out the back. That is a remote switch for the inverter under the bed. This little switch here is for the LED lights in the kitchen. This little spheres black switch here is actually for all the light switches. It's just like a little RF communicator uh, that turns all the lights on that on in the van, all through the van. Uh, this is a DVD and uh, and it's just an NEC radio, Bluetooth, where we can listen to music. Um, the switch up here is an inverter switch uh, for the air conditioner. So we can run our air conditioner off the batteries. And the other switch is direct to power, which is for our fridge. So that's just our air conditioner. It's an Ibis 4 air conditioner, heating, cooling. Um, yeah. So this is our fridge. It's the largest one we could fit in here. It's a compressor fridge, um, air, uh, freezer up the top, fridge down the bottom. Plenty of room, more room than we ever expected to have in a fridge or freezer in a van. And obviously in black with the black pack. All right, we're getting down to the back end of the van. Now we have partition doors here. So these partition doors simply Close the area off. It's one of the things that we really liked about the Crusader because we wanted to be able to give our son some privacy and also ourselves. Uh, his bunk bed, and you can see it's a little bit of a mess up here as usual. But you also got the black Sirocco fans, one for each bunk. And he also has an LED light and a USB socket down the bottom there. Bottom bunk is exactly the same with the light and USB socket and a fan, but this is just gonna be his little play area, an area to sit down if he doesn't wanna be in his bunk. And then you've just got drawers, which will be full of all his clothes. Uh, there is actually storage under here as well, which is just a neat little option. Now come down to the back, we have more cupboard space here, which is just more storage and more of a pantry. We have a 3.2 Fresca washing machine. And then more storage down the bottom and switches and that for the water for the washing machine. Bathroom, we have our Dometic toilet. We just have put our uh, vacuum cleaner in there. We got some towel hooks underneath the cupboard here to hang our towels and floor mat. And then we've just got all our storage in here where you got medicine and more stuff, toothpaste and all that bathroom stuff. My wife has added these little hanging things here onto the side. Uh, black pack, so sink, tap. And then more storage underneath the sink here. And there is a power point in there as well. Probably the greatest thing that I love about this van is a full size shower. And with the black pack as well and i fit in this one hey guys and girls so i hope you enjoyed that walk around with the van i thought i'd sit down and go through all the extras make sure that i covered everything uh so we actually had a 3.7 ton airbag suspension added to the van uh that was on top of the x country pack reason why well it was just really just to simplify our setup um, it's much easier to pull up to a to a parking bay and push the remote control and get your van level doing that instead of having to find ramps, having arguments with the wife. Um, and yeah, we just 
we didn't like having to use the ramps and shit in the old van. So, so far, this has been a blessing and it's definitely worth the money. Uh, the other thing we had changed was this van came with a 120 amp lithium battery standard. We changed to two 200 amp ones. Our previous van had 300 amps of, lith uh, 300 amps of AGM. Um, we went 400 amps of lithium. Yes, it's a much bigger van, probably going to use more power, but we can always add another battery if we need to and go 600. Uh, yeah, that, that's just the reason behind that. Um, solar panels. So originally the van came with 170 watt. The cross country pack actually added a second one, which was two, but we added a third one. So now we have three 170 watt panels. Uh, we're not sure if that's enough. That's why I've got a solar input on the side that goes through another add-on, which was a 50 amp DC, DC to DC, uh, red arc, uh, yeah, DC to DC, um, with the solar input at external. Uh, so I keep talking about this cross country pack. So the cross, cross country pack basically just gives it the ability to call it an off-road van. Uh, which meant you got the DO35, the upgraded fridge, which is 224 litre, uh, the stone protector on the front. Uh, there's two recovery points that are added at, at the rear of the van. It upgrades the wheels from 15 inch to 16 inch, uh, 265 with all trains uh, alloys. Uh, there's covers for the waste, pipe, uh, waste pipes and an electric step which is just a bit of wank, but we love it. Um, I've also added the caravan dust reduction system. Uh, my wife's added the black pack, so you've got all the black features inside. The firewood box on the front of the toolbox was an added. We have a Dexter sway control. The bike wrap, uh, the bike wrap, the bike rack on the front. Uh, there's an anti-flap kit for the awning that we've added. Uh, we put shelves in the hanging instead of the hanging. For the in the cupboard to the front uh the latex mattress that was the other thing diesel heater front light bar and those bug lights that i showed you earlier so and i think that's it i'm pretty sure that's all all the stuff that we've added um these vans come out at 105,000 stock standard and then whatever additional features that you added on um to increase the price or change things around but yeah that that is pretty much it so i will leave you to it i really appreciate everybody checking this out uh if you would like to leave a comment ask us anything or if you think that i've missed something or you want to know something 100 percent, just send, drop us a comment love it if you would like this video and also subscribe to our page uh we are wanting to do this as a, a bit of a business. So the more you guys support us, the more it helps us to grow. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have a great day and we'll catch you in the new year.